Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a VLF TAN Delta test using the TDM45 or the TDM4540. Let's get started. In the first example, we have the typical connections required to perform a VLF or TAN Delta test using the TDM45, which is comprised of the base module and the necessary connections. These connections include the grounds from the base module to the station ground, the input power to the instrument, and the high voltage cable going from the base module to the cable under test. In the next example here, we can see the typical connections required to perform a VLF or TAN Delta test using the TDM4540, which is comprised of both the base and boost module, as well as the necessary connections. The, next, the connections for the TDM4540 include the ground connection from the base to the booster module and to the station ground, the control cable interconnecting the base and boost module, the input power to the unit, and the high voltage connection that interconnects the base and boost module, as well as going from the boost module to the cable under test. Here we can see the example of the home screen for the TDM45 or TDM4540. And for the purpose of this video, we're going to use uh, this demonstration to perform a TAN Delta test. So on our pinwheel selection here, we will click the test option. And within the test option, we can see we can perform DC testing, VLF testing, TAN Delta testing. We can do sheet testing and withstand testing as well. Let's choose the TAN Delta testing, so VLF TAN Delta. Now we have our phase selection in which we can choose what phase we would like to test. For the purpose of this video, we will choose phase one. <clears throat> now we can select our standard we'd like to test to. So the IEEE 400.2, whether we'd like to go up to 1.5 U-naught or two times U-naught. Let's just choose 1.5. Now we can select our installation type, anywhere from XLPE, PILC, mixed, EPR, um, PVC, uh, so let's just choose polyethylene XLPE. Now we have our, our U-naught or our RMS voltage. So here we can select our U-naught. We'll go ahead and go up to 8.3. And again, you can just scroll through um, or change it on your turn dial on the front of the instrument and choose the appropriate voltage. Now you can see the steps uh, the resulting voltage levels of testing. So level one will be 0.5 U-naught, which is 4.2 kV. One is at one or 8.3 kV, and 1.5 U-naught is 12.4. Select OK. So we've already chosen U-naught. We can select our frequency. If we leave it in auto, this will choose the highest frequency that uh, can run that you can run the test at, or you can manually change the frequency anywhere from 0 0.01 all the way up to 0 0.1 hertz. Next, we can look at our test parameters where we have the number of levels we would like to step. So anywhere from one to six, we'll leave it at three. This is our resulting voltage levels, which has stayed the same. The number of values per level, so we can have five measurements per level all the way up to 20 measurements per level. We'll leave it at five for this test. The type of insulation, which we've already selected. The standard, which we already selected. And then the voltage levels. If you wanted to come in and customize the voltage levels, you can come in. For instance, at 0.5, we could change that to 2.5 or 0.25, sorry, all the way up. And we could select it however we wished. We'll leave it at 0.5. Select OK. And to run the test, we can go back. We can see our u naughts 8.3 RMS, our frequencies in auto. We have three steps at five measurements per step. We're ready to start, so we'll click the Start button. Now it's going to say Connect to Phase 1. We'll click OK. It'll prepare your measurement, perform a load detection, and then start your measurement. So we can see the oscillating voltage here. And then we can see that we are at um, our measurement and resistance our capacitance, our frequency that we've chosen, the test time, uh, our tan delta measurement value, and then we can actually see the applied voltage and the resulting measurement as well. So now if we take that, we can go ahead and change the views if we wish. 
So here we have the applied voltage we can see. Um, and if we wish to change the view as well, we can have it in a table form that gives us the voltage in RMS, our tan delta value, and then we can go and we can actually look at a summary as well. And then finally, if we wish, we can go ahead and turn off the high voltage. And for the sake of time, we will do that here. And since we were not able to complete the whole test, the evaluation is not possible, but I will show an example of the evaluation. For the sake of time, I have completed an example of a VLF tan delta test. Once completed, the instrument will notify the user that the test was successful and is finished. Next, a test summary prompt will appear with the test results and calculations. Finally, a recommendation is given based off of the standard selected prior to performing the test. In this case, the IEEE 400.2, which recommends that action is required on the phase tested. This concludes our discussion of how to perform a VLF tan delta test using the TDM45 or TDM4540. Visit the Megger YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or for more information about this topic or any other support you may need for your electrical testing.